Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your March 2023 new love reading for all of you singles out there. If you are single, look into mingle, or if you just made an initial connection with somebody, then this is your reading. If you are already in a romantic partnership of some kind, please check out the love readings that are already posted for you. We have a lot of very big, massively shifting energy in the month of March, okay? So some of you might be feeling a little bit uncomfortable. You might be really assessing your viewpoint on love and relationships and what you want. Um, we have a full moon in Virgo on the 7th of March, and this really does kind of bring ourselves to center. Um, you may be feeling the need to kind of go within, do some soul searching. Of course, the hermit card, um, represents Virgo. So soul searching, setting intentions, setting goals. You may even be clearing out some old energy, uh, any fears, worries, doubts, anxieties, blocks, okay. That may be, uh, standing in your path to finding love. We are entering a new astrological year with Aries season coming in, being ushered in full force with the new moon in Aries on the 20th of March. So this is a great time to kind of reflect, ground, cleanse, and to let go of anything holding you back and to really set some intentions and look towards the year ahead in a more positive way. Some of you are making some very important decisions um, as well with this energy that's coming in here. We do have Venus in Aries and Venus doesn't really love being in Aries, right? Um, you know, it can be Venus, the, the planet of love and abundance and growth of new beginnings. Um, also one of beauty, right? Wonderful energy. Um, Mars is more of that fiery, passionate fighting kind of energy sometimes. Um, but also a go-getter energy. So it can be that you are really full of this wonderful, positive energy and you're just you know, setting those intentions or you're taking steps forward, but we could also have some emotions that come up to the surface as well. So just ground and protect your energy there. Some of you might be finding yourselves at a very big turning point. First card out, we've got Ice King coming in here. Now this is a very masculine energy in this particular deck. The Ice King and the and the Ice Queen both remind me of the King and Queen of Swords. So this can certainly be somebody who is a little bit of a force to be reckoned with. This can be a masculine energy entering your life. So as a person, this would be somebody who is doesn't wear their heart on their sleeves, but they're communicative. They're talking, right? They're honest. They're truthful, sometimes brutally so, okay? Uh, just, you know, they don't really sugarcoat anything, okay? But they know themselves. They know what they want, all right? It's just that they may not necessarily show emotion, okay, right off the bat, right off the surface. This may also represent um, communication that may uh, turn cold a little bit, okay? So, um, you know, just trust in your journey uh, going forward, okay? This could be you embracing this Ice King energy, like you ready to talk, but you're not really opening your heart and at this particular moment. You're putting the feelers out there. You are taking charge and being in control of communication. Okay. So if you, if no one floats your boat, you ain't talking, right? You're not going to talk to them in that energy. So, um, whether it's a person that may be, I hate to say, um, there might be, a per I don't really necessarily think that if you're talking to somebody, I don't necessarily 100% get the energy that this would be someone that would ghost you um, because the ice king is like that king energy like I'm you know I'm in charge of the situation and I know what I want and I'm going to say yes or I'm going to say no and I'm not going to fart around and play any games okay so not really a ghosting energy but it could be that either you or someone else just says no something may just turn cold but trust that things that don't get off the ground or things that kind of go nowhere um, may actually really be good for you, okay? Because, hey, at least you know, right? You know right off the bat and you're good to go, okay? But I think that there's a very decisive energy that's coming in here for you guys as well, okay? So you're very clear in what you want, okay? And you are figuring things out. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to get and I'm not going to settle for second best, all right? We also have obstacles here. That Ice King energy can certainly clear out any paths or obstacles, all right? But this does show that there's some resistance, there's some challenges to finding love, okay? And, you know, for some of you, this is something internal. For some of you, this is external forces beyond your control. So it may be that, you know, in this 
post pandemic area era that we're living in, it may be that, you know, old avenues of meeting people may have dried up a little bit. So you need to be a little bit more inventive. There's maybe a little bit more technology involved than there previously was. There could be something internal within you that's just creating some resistance and something that you need to deal with energetically before you can really fully open yourself up to finding love. And this can have to do with a past person. This can just have to do with underlying fears or maybe even trust issues. Okay. In that, um, in that regard. All right. But yes, there may be, uh, some no's that come in for some of you, especially, I mean, it's no surprise if you're doing online dating. Okay. We get people that just disappear. We get, it's like the freeway of life. And sometimes people get off on the off ramp just to send a message, just to see if you're a bot or not. And then they get back on and keep on their merry way. So, you know, it's, it's, it can be really hard to make those actual connections and to follow through with them, right? To get it out of like the, hey, how's it going, you know, kind of phase into the, I want to take you out for dinner or I want to go and, and, you know, have a coffee with you or whatever that looks like, right? So um, it can be a little bit of a challenge, all right? But I feel like you can be a little bit creative, okay? Or that you know that already, okay? And you're going to figure out a way past that, and we have de beautiful, you know what, it's funny, uh, the Destiny card, it was, um, it caught my eye when I was shuffling the deck before uh, I started recording. Um, it was at the bottom of the deck, and here it is again. So the Hand of Destiny, all right, this is fate intervening. The wheels are set in motion in something here, and you may not necessarily be able to control it. The best thing you can do is sit back and enjoy the ride, be open and allow Okay, there's something here that is happening that is unfolding just as it's meant to. Okay, resistance is futile in this energy. So again, trust that if there's some no's on your path or if there's just something that's not working out, um, trust that there's a reason for that. Okay, hand of fate has intervened in your love life. Okay, in some way. So um, it's a wonderful energy, sometimes a little bit frustrating because, of course, when we've got destiny and fate that come out to play, or now we're in divine timing and things like that. So um, just allow things to play out. But of course, take some action when the timing feels right. Trust your intuition and these signs, symbols, and symbologies that you may be seeing along your journey. And here we go. We have a past life energy coming in here for you. Okay. So for some of you, there's something that the universe is aligning for you in regards to love and making a new connection. Okay. Um, it's, this could be soulmate energy. It can be twin flame energy. Um, it's something in your past life. Okay. Is, um, coming back into your realm right um, very shortly, I feel for some of you, I feel for some of you, there is a delay, especially with that obstacle card right there. Okay. Um, but I think you kind of know on some level that I think you just maybe your spidey senses maybe just go on a little bit haywire right about now because I think you know that there's something playing out for you and um, especially with this ice king energy it's like cool as a cucumber yes there's obstacles and delays but I think there's a purpose I think there's a reason for that so um, embrace that energy because when you know you know right so your intuition, your will certainly um, be telling you, you might even be dreaming about something here as well. All right. But trust in your path that things are being aligned for you. Opportunities are aligning for you um, in the best of ways. Okay. That past life energy. Now the past life energy can also be something that you need to clear out that's creating an obstacle in your current world. Okay, this can be something in this lifetime, something from an old relationship, something like that. Okay, and this is something that you might need to deal with. Okay, you need to let go of that energy, just like that ice king there. You need to turn your back. Okay, and uh, clear out that obstacle for yourself very much at the beginning of the month with that full moon in Virgo. We have worth waiting for divine timing. <laughs> there we go. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yes, indeed it is. Of course, when we do get that destiny card coming in there. 
Okay, so yes, there's something brewing for you worth waiting for. Um, be open, be receptive, go with the flow, recognize the signs, recognize the feelings, pay attention to your dreams, all of that. Okay, because the universe has something very special in mind for you. Okay, so again, that obstacle could be a divine delay for you. All right. We also do have the flirt card coming out here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Take it easy, my friends. All right. Yes, on the path to love, we want connection. We want love. We want romance. We want whatever that looks like to you. Okay. And, you know, sometimes we can get frustrated. We can get, you know, annoyed that we haven't found it. Right. Sometimes we can create our own energetic obstacles there. Okay. And the flirt energy really is here to invite you to just get out and have fun. Just put aside some expectations, leave yourself open, okay, and just get out, meet people, have fun, but don't put so much importance on it because quite often what happens when we do that, when we obsess about things, we do create our own blocks and obstacles, right? We prevent ourselves from meeting somebody because we are creating that resistance. So flirt, be open and have fun. I also do feel here for some of you that in the month ahead, someone may be flirting with you if they're not already. You might also be flirting with somebody else because some of you have met someone new already and you're just kind of playing with the energy and seeing what happens. So just keep doing that just keep it lighthearted, okay and um just see where something unfolds we've got new love here yes you are bringing in new love into your life a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so again for some of you you've already met this person for others of you this is what you're calling in and this is what is being aligned for you new love on its way whatever that looks like to you you could be feeling kind of how should we say um you could be feeling a little bit of a buzz in the air. So, for example, you might be just sitting on the couch watching TV and all of a sudden your mind wanders, right? You start to daydream a little bit. And you could just be feeling the vibes like it almost feels real, okay? And that can certainly be one of those signs that you are calling love towards you, that, th that things are aligning for you because it feels feels real in that energy. You can feel the goosebumps. You can feel your heart flutter. Maybe you even get a little bit flushed. Um, you know, and it's just, you can even have conversations when, you know, when you're kind of in that energy. So there's a reason why your mind is wandering, but it's great when you're in that energy because things are just flowing. You're not resisting. You're just allowing kind of something to, you know, your imagination to kick in. Same thing with dreams, right? You might be having some dreams right about now too. So pay attention to that energy because it's, it could be really spirit giving you, um, you know, this little bit of a, um, positive boost. Okay. Shall we say some positive signs that things are about to occur for you. But of course, some of you have already met somebody. All right. But love is in the air. Okay. And there is potential out there for you. You might need to get out of your comfort zone, though. Okay, that obstacle can be getting out of your comfort zone. Okay, putting down your guard a little bit. We've got passion here as well. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yes, and we are entering Aries season full of passion, passion, fire, flames. All right, and so for some of you, you've already met this new connection. Just run with it, go with it. You might be feeling quite the attraction to this person. Okay, and for others of you, this is really... Um, showing you that there is something a lot magical that is about to enter your life okay either either in the month of march or kicking over like probably in the next six to eight weeks or so okay but this can also be an energy um a reminder from spirit to follow your passion okay is there something that you do or something that you want to do that really excites you that it's your that you're passionate about you just never know like if you want to pick up learn a hobby or something like learn a musical instrument or learn to paint or draw or something learn to cook right something like that um something that's kind of exciting and fun um if you, if you need to take a class to do it or something or there's some social interaction there 
you just never know because that's a great way to meet like-minded individuals, okay? So something you're passionate about could turn into meeting a new romantic connection. We've got intention energy back and forth. Mm, yeah, there's a little bit of an obstacle for some of you. Are you teeter-tottering back and forth? Okay, are you some days, yes, I'm open to love, and other days, I am so happy to be single. Okay, this is really about you getting clear on what you want, clear on your intentions. Okay, no point going back and forth in that energy. It's not doing you any good. It is keeping things stuck. Okay, it's keeping things stagnant there for you. So I feel especially especially at the beginning of the month, that full moon in Virgo is really where you're going to figure out what you want. We have a oh, loving man. Well, hello, sir. How are you? Look, we come bearing flowers. We're a gentleman. We're well dressed and we've got a big ass smile on our face. Okay. So for some of you, yes, there could certainly be a loving man entering your scenario in the month of March. Okay. Um, this person has good intentions. This person has a little bit of romance in their heart and this person are very kind and generous, very loving man coming in here. Now, this may not ne not necessarily be a male, okay? It may be somebody who just has this masculine energy of, I'm going to make the first step. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to make the first move, okay? I'm going to put myself out there and take a bit of a risk, all right? Someone who can maybe take some control of a situation. But you see all the little magical light orbs that are all around this person. This can be someone that you manifested in, delivered by spirit. Okay, so for some of you, this is someone that you're going to meet this month. For others of you, this is what you're calling in. This is what destiny has in store for you. Okay, and it'll be magical. It'll be wonderful. So um, stay, stay the course, be open. Remember this back and forth energy. No sorry, Bob, that teeter totter that you're on. Okay, um, if you're on that, no sorry, Bob. Okay, we need to figure things out because there's change that's imminent. Now, the interesting thing is with these two cards, back and forth is card number five, number five right there. Okay, intention. And the loving man is also number five in the people section of this deck. So this deck has a few different sections and each, each section has their cards one through whatever it is. Okay, so you got two fives coming in. Fives represent obstacles and challenges, but they also represent exciting opportunity for change. So there's change in the wind for you folks, all right? And we've got the vast universe, card number one, spirit energy showing your connection to the universe. Things are aligning for you. The stars are aligning for you. The universe has heard your intentions. And if you haven't already set intentions or if you haven't been clear, now is the time to wipe the slate clean and put some new ones out there, okay? Just ask your angels, spirits, guides, can you please just eradicate my old intentions? Okay, I wanna set some new ones, right? And there you go, just like an eraser on a chalkboard, okay, you will have that blank slate and you can set some intentions again. But the vast universe is a beautiful energy, things aligning for you, magic in the air, okay? So um, it's all about expansion and growth and maybe even a little bit of magic there for you guys, okay? So believe in the impossible, dream a dream, okay? Some of your dreams might very well be coming true this month, but this is also spirit saying that when you're open and you allow and you know, you have a firm yes, okay, then that is when things really do click into place for you. All right, let's get some more cards and see what else is coming out for you guys. The King of Pentacles, well, hello. Uh, we like the King of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Cups. Now that's in the reverse, okay, but the Ten of Cups is such a good card that even in reverse, it's still a good card, all right? And we also have the Four of Swords, all right? Lay back, that's really beautiful energy there um, because that can certainly represent um, that can certainly represent just being at calm, being at peace, all right? And it's also a card of meditation and connection with spirit. So beautiful energy that is there for you guys, okay? But we do have the King of Pentacles, okay? So there is possibly that loving male coming in, okay? The King of Pentacles is somebody who is probably fairly successful, very wise, okay? They have, uh, you know, they have 
um, experience their own challenges through life, but they've come out on top. The King of Pentacles is very calm, very patient, um, probably very good with money. They may have a job in a financial sector somewhere, okay, or they may be very successful in business, okay, but they also have a lot of wisdom. The King of Pentacles is very calm and cool and down to earth, um, is also very dedicated, Okay, very dedicated, committed, honest, okay, all of those wonderful qualities, all right? So, you know, some of you might some of you might be manufacturing a rich a rich person into your life. Maybe you don't have to worry about money again, or this could be possibly someone who has their own business, okay, or they may have just had a lot of success in their career path in some way, okay? But the King of Pentacles is very down to earth and very calm in their energy, um, but also like very committed, okay, to their journey, but abundance is here, okay, so this could certainly be somebody um, that is headed your way, I'm going to get another card for that, and see what else we have to say with that King of Pentacles, Thank you. We've got a six of swords. Okay, so this is somebody who has had their own troubles, um, their own issues. Okay, but it's someone who is willing to compromise. Okay, and willing to, you know, settle arguments and challenges and things in a positive way. Okay, someone who is open to communication. All right, and someone who has uh, some, yeah, nice, calm, peaceful vibes there. They may also be something of a protector. They may have children. They may have other people in their lives that they look after. So the King of Pentacles, kind of like the Queen of Pentacles, can be a little bit of a nurturing energy as well. With the Six of Pentacles, this is somebody very generous, okay? Someone who may actually, because the Six of Pentacles is a merchant, okay? And maybe somebody that does have their own business, um, but someone who is balanced and fair, okay, in their dealings. Um, this can also be somebody that is a result coming in as a result of the energy that you put out there, right? It's flowing back to you. Okay. So that's a reminder of that with the six of pentacles is that what we put out flows back. Okay. So this can be something that you very much deserve and that you've been waiting for, for quite a while. Okay. And we've got the two of swords here as well. So the two of swords is somebody who is striving for balance and harmony in their life. Okay. If they haven't already found it. Okay. They are someone who listens to their own intuition and their own wisdom when they're making decisions. Okay. And, but this is also somebody who, if they don't know what the answer is, they're willing to, um, you know, take a different approach or they're willing to find some information or ask for help. Okay. They're also very helpful. Um, if I didn't already say that, so really kind of like an all around, um, good, person okay for the most part right everyone has a flip side of course but all everything's coming out in the upright for you right there okay but we do have the ten of cups now this is in the reverse okay so in the month ahead the ten of cups this is happiness joy this is the feeling of togetherness happy ever after card kind of thing and even in the reverse it's a good card okay so this can just really be um you know saying that yes there's some really have happy and positive things that are on the horizon that are coming in for you for some of you this is a delay Okay, it's not in the here and the now, it is a delay. There's something at work and something at play in the background that needs to play out before this can really come into existence. This can also be spirit reminding you hmm, to look at the bright side and to keep your options open. Okay, with that Ten of Cups there, right, is to stay positive, okay? Um, things, you might not have the love that you're looking for yet, or you may have some obstacles in your path, okay? But there is something brewing behind the scenes, but you got to stay positive, right? You got to set those clear intentions and manifest from a place of abundance and positivity, never from one of lack, okay? Do not even think about the things that you don't want out of a person, out of a connection, out of a relationship. Only think about the positive. Okay. Think about the things that you do want, the qualities that you do want in a person, the kind of relationship that you do want that suits your needs, that brings you happiness, right? Our, our quest for happiness is a little bit different for every single person. Okay. So make sure you are honest about what makes you happy and about what you want. All right. Remember, wherever you put your energy flows back to you.
okay? That's what we make more of, all right? But set your intentions. We've got the Four of Swords here, okay? This is bringing you a sense of calm, of peace, of taking a step back. So instead of trying to control and micromanage the universe, Spirit is saying to you here for the Four of Wands, this is a month for you to connect with your inner self, with your heart, with your soul, and your higher self here, okay? Um, to take that step back, to allow things to happen. Great month for you to meditate, okay? Um, you know, to work with the moon cycles in the month ahead, all right? But then be open and allow, trust the journey, pay attention to the signs. Um, again, a repeating message there for you, right? Pay attention to the signs you're seeing, okay? This king of pentacles came out with two sixes, all right? And we have two fives coming in here for you as well. And the thing is, is that... Um, fives obstacles and challenges right we already said that but also exciting opportunity for change okay a little disruptive but always for always for a good reason and then the two sixes sixes are where we find balance and harmony again after the disruption of the changes of the fives it's where things settle down a little bit okay so you could certainly have something that does disrupt your life but in a really positive way all right, so let's grab a couple last cards for you. I think there's some really positive, very wonderful energy that's coming in, but you might also have a little bit of work to do there. Your spirit's giving you a little bit of homework there. Always the case when we get the obstacles card. So let's see what we've got. And we have transparency. Beautiful card. The energy of transparency supports our vibration or our expansion toward a higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. Okay, be transparent, be honest, be truthful, say what you want. Okay, if someone is throwing up red flags for you, empower yourself, that king, that ice king there energy, right, to take a step back to say no, right? You don't have to say no to, you don't have to say yes to every single um, person that you meet okay but also you don't want to say no to every single person either but transparency is be honest be truthful not just with yourself not just with spirit but also with anyone that does cross your path there as well okay you are growing you are expanding and you've got some really um magical energy that's around you we also have intimacy coming in here and that can be an obstacle for a lot of people um that is your sacral chakra is our source of intimacy creativity okay and in this particular energy the energy of intimacy supports us trusting that we are safe to allow closeness okay there's your sacred geometry um coming in there for that okay so what spirit's really saying is you need to be open to love. You need to trust yourself. If you've been hurt before, burned before, that can take a long, long time to heal from, to get over, okay? But Spirit is saying it's now is the time here to really open up, okay, in a positive way to love, to romance, to connections, okay? But you need to trust yourself on your journey, okay, in order to do that, all right? I'm going to leave that there for you folks. I hope there was something here that um, resonated with you on some level. Okay, I think shift, things are shifting for you in a very positive way. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I thank you for watching. If there was something here for you, please hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, otherwise, have a great March. Uh, ground your energy, center your energy, okay? But some decisions may need to be made here for some of you, okay? So... Uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.